everybody, Erica Sirwin here from Pink Buckaroo Designs. I've got a fun Taco Fiesta project for you, another one. If you're looking for Taco Fiesta ideas, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog. I've got, I think this is my sixth or seventh project. It's a really fun set, I've got lots of ideas. This card is an interactive card. I've made a little spring for my pinata. Um, I think that kids would love this card, grown-ups would love this card, anybody would love to get this as a birthday card. So I'm gonna show you how to make it. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is make this background here because it's gonna need to dry. Um, I tried to come up with some fiesta type colors um, and I pulled out, let's see, I'll tell you all the colors I have. Real red, sweet sorbet, Calypso coral, um, they're all warm colors, can you tell? Pumpkin pie, pale papaya, and then I think we start back with real red, sweet sorbet, and so on. So I have a uh, sweet sorbet rectangle here, and this is gonna help me start to make my, I don't know, I kind of was thinking like a, like a rug or a blanket or something with the stripes in it. That was just my thought process when I started with this. All right, so I'm gonna, I want to try to get this in the middle because um, originally I didn't do that. And we're gonna put our little spring on a, a circle of sweet sorbet. So it'll kind of blend in there. So I think I'm gonna start my pattern a little bit differently than I did last time. Um, let me think about how I want to do this. Okay, I'm going to start with, let's start with pumpkin pie. And my strips are longer than my cardstock. That's so that I can trim them off all straight. All right, there's pale papaya. And then we're going to go with real red. And then sweet sorbet. These are all half inch strips. Okay, and then Calypso Coral. And then I think we start over, right? Let's see, doop, 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 yep, okay. And then, oh, did I forget pumpkin pie? I forgot pumpkin pie, let's put him in there. Pumpkin pie. And then we'll do pale papaya again. And I think I'm gonna skip, actually that's mango melody, not pale papaya, mango melody. I think I'm gonna skip pale papaya and go to one more red, because I wanna end with a reddish color. All right, so, you can tell there's no right or wrong here. <laughs> you can do this however you want. All right, so now um, I'm gonna cut these off. Actually, we're gonna use a die here in a second to cut this into a stitched rectangle. But if you didn't wanna use a stitched rectangle and you just wanna make it a regular rectangle, all you would do is trim those off like that. All right, so now I've got a stitched rectangle die. I'm gonna bring it over and we're gonna cut this through. Now, this is a lot of cardstock. It's really a double layer of cardstock and the stitched rectangles are a little bit persnickety and they take a little extra effort to get you to cut through. Um, I think it's because I've got a sequin hanging on for dear life there. Um, I think it's because the little stitch lines are very small. So what I like to do is run it through twice and then I flip it over and I think, look and see, should I run it again? If you think that it didn't cut all the way through, flip it upside down and run it through. The machine, for whatever reason, applies more pressure on that top than it does on the bottom. All right, there we go. Very cute. And we've got a little bit of, of hanging on scrappy paper there. Okay, now I've also cut out a, another stitched rectangle. Um, I'm gonna grab my dimensionals over here. I thought I pulled them out, but I guess I didn't. We're gonna put lots of dimension here on this card. I'm gonna put one here and then one in each corner like that. And we'll put that right in the middle. All right, to make our spring, I am using some very thin floral wire. Okay, let's see um, if it has a 26 gauge. Um, I have played around with this before with other wires and it really does have to be very thin. I tried a paper clip and it, for me, the paper clips I tried were too thick. So this wire you can get, you know, at any, in any craft center. So I've wrapped it around my pencil a couple of times. 
And then I'm gonna get my scissors and just snip that off. Now I have cut out ahead of time two, if I haven't lost them, here they are, two sweet sorbet circles. Now you can do this two ways. Well, I guess you could do this lots of ways and I've tried it two ways. Um, first, you can get your uh, liquid glue and put a pool of liquid glue in there and set that down and let it dry. Then put a pool of liquid glue in there, flip it over and let that dry. Um, but yesterday I played around with my glue dots and of course, why is all my adhesive way in the back? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but I found that glue dots actually worked pretty well. So I'm gonna get two glue dots and put them down right there, okay? And then set that bottom part of that spring there in that glue dot, okay? And now we're gonna do the other side in the exact same way. And you can actually pick up your glue dots at the same time by overlapping them a little bit. Lay that down. You know, I think I'm gonna put one more. Glue dots are strong, but for whatever reason, when you double up on a glue dot, it's extra strong. All right now, I'm gonna curl that in and I'm gonna set that down on there. So now I've just made this little homemade spring, okay? Now there are mechanisms out there that you can buy already pre-made. You may already have some and those will work but I like to make my own. I can make it any size or shape that I want. All right, so now let's just stick with the glue dots. I'm gonna put this spring right here. Let's double up, make sure it's strong. I'm gonna put that spring right there. All right, I'm gonna push that down into that glue dot. All right, so now our little guy is gonna move around, but we have to make our little guy first. So let's go ahead and stamp him. All right, we're gonna stamp him in Memento Black. He is a pinata. I designed this stamp set myself, and I wanted him to be fun. I wanted the stamp set to be kind of like a party. So what's more fun at a party than a pinata? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna start, well, let's start, I'll just copy exactly what I did before. I've got um, pale papaya, and I'm gonna do his little nose and his ears, and then I'm gonna do this, this bottom part, this bottom scallop area, like that. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of color, boop, boop, little dots like that to those smaller areas. All right, now I'm gonna switch over to Sweet Sorbet. Now you could totally customize this to the recipient's favorite colors, you know, whatever you want to do. And then I'm gonna do a little bit of its tail there. Um, I'm gonna take Old Olive and this actually looks like I grabbed Mossy Meadow, but we'll just use it. We'll go ahead and grab it and use it. Mossy Meadow. And then um, Tahitian Tide. All right, now let's add a little bit more color to his tail. And I think I must have used a pink. Let's use our light sweet sorbet right there. Now, these guys, uh-oh, let's do his little necklace too. These guys don't have dyes, but we have scissors and they cut out really easily. So grab your paper snips and the first thing you wanna do is cut off all that extra cardstock so that it won't be in your way. And then just slowly go around the outside, staying just a tiny bit outside the black line. Use your other hand to turn it as you go. One uh, thing you can do too, if you're worried, is take your pencil and draw an outline around your pinata and use that as your cutting line. Cut right on that line. Um, sometimes that drawing that line helps you, um, guides your scissors a little bit. I do that when I'm cutting out words. That way I don't have to just kind of guess as I go. I've already drawn it out. But for this one, I'm just staying right on the outside. If I make any mistakes, my cuts aren't quite perfect. 
the eye will really only see that black line. All right, now let's get some more glue dots. And if you want to make sure this is super strong, then you can use liquid glue. But for the video, it makes it easier if I do glue dots. All right, and see, there is our little, our little spring. Isn't that fun? All right, we're going to stamp the words, holy guacamole, it's your birthday, on this cute little um, scalloped rectangle right there. And now we're ready to layer it all up. I have a pale papaya card base and a piece of our d new Delicate Desert Designer Series paper. Four by five and a fourth. I'll have the complete supply list as well as measurements over on my blog. So please jump over there and grab that. And you can also look at your other stamps and see what other stamps you could do. We had a donkey a few years ago that I did this with and I loved it. It was so fun. Um, so, you know, look at your other, your other uh, stamps and see what you have. All right, holy guacamole. Now I'm gonna add a few sequins, a few gold sequins. One, two, three, and four. And last but not least, I've got some orange twine, some pumpkin pie twine that's gonna kind of fit in our warm colors here. And I'm just going to tie this around, let's put it on this side, tie this around the fold in my card. And then we are done. All right, I've showed you how to make your own little spring for your cards that move. Everybody loves an interactive card, especially when it's a pinata. You know what? One thing I forgot to do that I love to do with my pinata is to take my Wink of Stella and add some glitter. Make him sparkly. All right. Have fun. Let me know if you have questions. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.